Ever pondered about the oldest library in the world and what secrets it might hold? This is an intriguing thought. Imagine a time when there were no digital screens, no printing presses, and books were handcrafted luxuries. Libraries in those days were the beacon of human knowledge, preserving culture, history and wisdom through the ages. Today, we venture into the heart of the ancient world, to the library of Ashurbanipal. This treasure trove of antiquity dating back to the 7th century BC stands as the oldest known library in the world. It was the brainchild of Ashurbanipal, the last great king of the Neo-Assyrian Empire. A unique monarch, Ashurbanipal was not just a warrior king, but a scholar. A lover of his reign was marked by his passion for collecting texts from all corners of his vast empire, from religious incantations to scientific observations, from epic poetry to royal decrees. As the tale goes, Ashurbanipal, a scholar king, had an insatiable thirst for knowledge, leading to the creation of a library that remains a historical marvel. Imagine a king in the 7th century BC dedicating his resources to the creation of a grand library. Picture this, an ancient ruler not just amassing wealth and power but knowledge. Ashurbanipal, the king of Assyria, had a thirst for wisdom that was as vast as his empire. His grand project, the construction of a massive library, a repository of knowledge unprecedented in its scale and diversity. Here, scribes painstakingly etched cuneiform script onto clay tablets, preserving everything from epic literature and religious texts to legal codes and personal letters. But Ashurbanipal didn't stop at his kingdom's borders. He dispatched scholars on missions to distant lands, seeking out texts to enrich his library. These scholars were the antiquities version of modern-day archaeologists, braving unknown territories, unearthing precious knowledge. A king's passion for knowledge led to a collection so vast it took centuries for us to decipher. Such was the making of the library, a testament to one man's pursuit of wisdom, a treasure trove of ancient intellect. Fast forward to the 19th century, when the ruins of this ancient library came to light once again. Hidden beneath the rubble and dust of millennia, archaeologists unearthed a treasure trove of knowledge that had lain dormant. A monumental find indeed. Among the discovered texts was the Epic of Gilgamesh, a story older than time itself preserved for future generations to marvel at. This epic tale, one of the earliest known pieces of literature, spoke of heroes, gods and the eternal human quest for immortality. But the library offered more than just tales of yore. It provided a rare in-depth look into the ancient Assyrian Empire and its rich culture. Every cuneiform tablet, every inscription, was a thread woven into the vibrant tapestry of Assyrian life. In the end, it was Ashurbanipal's library that gave us a window into the world of ancient Assyria, preserving a piece of our shared human history. So, what can the story of the library of Ashurbanipal teach us today? It serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of safeguarding knowledge. Libraries like Ashurbanipal's are not just collections of books, but vibrant reservoirs of culture embodying the intellectual spirit of their time. The tale of Ashurbanipal's library underscores the timeless value of intellectual pursuits, of curiosity, and of the hunger for understanding. As we delve into the digital age, remember Ashurbanipal's dedication to knowledge, reminding us of the enduring power of the written word. 